Rotors of an electrical machine are classified as salient pole rotors and non-salient pole rotors. In salient pole type of rotor consist of large number of projected poles, salient poles mounted on a magnetic wheel. Construction of a salient pole rotor is as shown in the figure at left. The projected poles are made up from laminations of steel. The rotor winding is provided on these poles and it is supported by pole shoes. Salient pole rotors have large diameter and shorter axial length. They are generally used in lower speed electrical machines, say 100 RPM to 1500 RPM. As the rotor speed is lower, more number of poles are required to attain the required frequency. Typically number of salient poles is between 4 to 60. Flux distribution is relatively poor than non-salient pole rotor, hence the generated mth wave form is not as good as cylindrical rotor. Salient pole rotors generally need damper windings to prevent rotor oscillations during operation. Salient pole synchronous generators are mostly used in hydropower plants. Salient pole configuration has the following advantages. It allows for greater ventilation. The pole faces are formed in such a way that the radial air gap length rises from the pole center to the pole tips, resulting in a sinusoidal flux distribution in the air gap, allowing the machine to create sinusoidal M. To reduce electric current loss, a salient pole rotor is composed of steel laminations. Because the rotor is sensitive to magnetic field variations, this is the case. Stacking laminations are used to join poles of the same dimensions together to get the desired length. Rotor removal on large industrial generator. Covered a large row shaft with a layer of rubber, then insert a hollow cylindrical steel tube into the shaft end. Once forklift is ready, lift both ends of the shaft evenly and slowly pull it outward. The process requires careful adjustment because the rotor shaft may be bent or collide between the stator and rope. Automatic winding machines use automation to wind electric coil into various electric components, motor parts, and other related products according to the required shape number of layer and sizes.
How to Automatic Winding Machine Works The principle of the automatic winding machine is start the motion control system for winding after positioning the electric coil. The operator needs to enter the design and specifications such as the automatic winding machine can complete rotation, up and down movements, and transverse movements when the winding is completed. The automatic winding machine will perform coil finishing work to ensure coil integrity and availability. In contrast to the salient pole rotor, there is the non-salient pole cylindrical rotor, which is another type of rotor field. Non-salient pole rotor is usually powered by steam or combustion turbines. It is made from solid steel. A non-salient pole, cylindrical, rotor is for two or four pole machinery. Such a design offers a higher mechanical force and allows a more precise dynamic balance. Also, non-salient pole rotors have parallel slots to position rotor windings in the cylindrical form. The winding is placed in rotary machine built slots and held by metallic weights, typically made of aluminum or steel, against strong centrifugal forces. The holding rings contain the end part of the windings. The supporting rings are made from stainless steel for big devices. Some important features of a non-salient pole rotor. It has smaller diameters and a longer length of the axis. It is used for high-speed operations, typically 1500 and 3000 RPM. A non-salient rotor has less loss of winding. It has a noiseless operation. It has a stronger F in the distribution of sinusoidal flux around the periphery. A salient pole and a cylindrical pole, both, are the two main types of synchronous machines. Both of them are similar regarding the stator construction. Each has a stator that is spread over the internal periphery with a three-phase winding. The difference between a salient pole and a cylindrical pole. In high-speed machines, a cylindrical pole is useful. A cylindrical pole is also better in dynamic balance. Besides, there is no need to have damper windings, as the field poles serve as dampers themselves.
the stator was overhaul and maintenance partners workshop. The overhaul included dry ice learning and renewal of the winding supports with epoxy material. Team of three electrical specialists worked in two shifts to finalize the rewinding in eight weeks time. The rotor consists of 300 copper turn. Each turn installed individually and insulated individually. After installation of the retaining rings, the rotor is ready for high-speed balancing. During the high-speed balancing, repetitive surge oscillograph Ross, measurements are conducted. These electrical measurements are used to detect any short circuits between turns. The rotor is flanked at various seeds up to 3,600 RPM. Imbalance is detected, and the positions for corrections are indicated on screen. It takes multiple runs to remove all unwanted imbalance. In between runs, balancing weights are added to improve balance and eliminate vibrations. When the high-speed balancing is finished, the rotor and stator are ready to transport and installation on-site. 